The other thing that's on the, the main part of the dashboard here is the add edit compressor system. So again, this is where we're going to come in and add the information specific to whatever we're going to be uh, inspecting for leaks. So if I have a, an air compressor system, I'm going to come in here and add that. If I have some other kind of um, compressor system for any other kind of gas, I could put that information in here as well. So I will quickly go through that process. So I'm going to add new and it's going to take me into my dialogue window for adding in my compressor system information. So I'm going to give it a name. So SDT Coburg, for example, what type of gas is, uh, is this compressor uh, handling? So right now, the only option we have in here is air. I believe there is plans to add some other types of gases in the future, but right now, compressed air is the one we're focused on. If I want to put in any information, specific system description, I can put that in here. So this is my compressor, whatever that information happens to be. So what's the pressure in my system? If I got a 100 PSI system, I would put that in here. I can change it from PSI to bar, depending on how I want to designate this. What's my compressor capacity? So 5600 CFM is fairly common. Um, what's my output for my in kilowatts for my motor? 98 is pretty standard. Uh, if I'm doing the, if it's running 24 hours a day every day for a year, my, it's going to be 8760 hours. And what is my specific electricity cost? per kilowatt hour in the currency that I have selected. You can see uh, SDT Coburg for SDT ultrasound. We're in Canadian dollars, we're in Canada, so we're using Canadian dollars and we're reporting in Canadian dollars. So I'm gonna put in my value at 13 Canadian cents per kilowatt hour, and I'm gonna click on create system. So you can see here, SDT Coburg has been added or edited, hit continue going to take me right back to the dashboard. If I ever want to go in and check that information or if I want to change it, I can click on edit. I can find my specific compressor system information. And you can see in here, we can have multiple compressor systems configured. But here's the one I've just created, SDT Coburg, et cetera, et cetera. I can click on edit. I can make any changes to this, but there is a disclaimer or a note here that changing the compressor system information will affect all reports that are uh, associated with this compressor. So if I've already created a number of reports that tie back into this compressor, and then I come back in and change the electricity cost, all of those reports are going to be modified. So it's important to note this. So if you want to keep those reports as they were, then create a new compressor and just leave this one the way it was. And maybe you call it SDT Coburg number two or something like that. And, and this may well happen if your electricity costs from one year to the next, if they have changed. So, you know, that there is, there is potential for this to happen, but just bear in mind any reports that you had, they are gonna be affected when you make changes to this compressor system information. So important for you to know, because you can relay that information onto your customers. I'm going to save that, take me back to the main dashboard.